People love that song. Here we go. You are now tuned in to California. Now here's your host, the one and only Mofo. All right, all right. Well, here we are, February 7th. What a fucking Super Bowl. Oh, shit. Oh, my G. <laughs> Did you motherfuckers see that? Man. Fuck yeah. I yes. slept through the first half and woke up. It was like, oh, they got this. They got. Oh, yeah, that was just. They had it <laughs> stolen. <laughs> I'm glad okay. I didn't bet. That's all I could say. All right, real quick, real quick with the intros. Uh, the first lady to my left. I don't even think she needs an introduction. <laughs> Porn star legend that her booty is a legend. Uh, Miss Olivia O'Lovely. Unfortunately, retired porn star. <laughs> Unfortunately. Aww. I know Eight Chris Cock years, wishes man. he could have fucked her. I know. Mm, I wish. Mm, I still wish. Mm, I could go home oh, and have course, a Me little, too. Me too. Oh, okay. Me too. She'd be in my spank bank for tomorrow scene, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've jerked off to Olivia. Let me think. Last night? I didn't Damn. Wait too many times? Oh. Probably. I don't know. Thousands. Thousands. Oh and you know, Olivia turns me Gallons. on so much, I don't even make it to the fucking part. <laughs> <laughs> I start I start With jerking teeth, off when she's just licking teeth. balls. She hasn't uh-huh. even li- so she hasn't easy. even licked the dick yet. Aww. She hasn't even licked the like that. They don't make it past the teeth. You know why? Because oh, she talks real dirty, and then she's got that sexy ass face. Look at her. Oh. Look at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and to her left, I got to tell you something. The reason why I have this man on the show is because of his name. He is porn star. Chris Cock. C O C K. Cheers. I can't believe that's the first time I've heard a name with, with yeah. Cock in it. Yeah. Like in our yes. business. That's Let me could. tell you, he, he brings me yes. back. He reminds me of the porn star names of the 70s and the 80s. Right? right? They were tight. all like that. <laughs> now they're all fucking like the. You know what it is? Everybody's trying to be mainstream. Everybody has like these mainstream names. Once yon, you go yon. into porn, uh, I'm not even gonna get. You're, I right. doubt you're gonna make it to mainstream. You might get like uh, little roles here and there, right. but you know, but keep the name we need more name. names like Chris Cock. Yeah. No, no, no. I only need one. Me. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's right. Yeah. It's and the I'm year gonna, of the cock. And I'm gonna call him Mr. <laughs> cock tonight. Yeah. Mr. Cock. Yeah. Mm. Now to his left is. I gotta tell you, uh, okay. her pussy is so wet already. They've had this little dude in here mopping like three times. <laughs> <laughs> right? Splash. Yeah, I slipped on it. Did you see me slip on my mannequin? <laughs> I slipped on her pussy juice. I did see the mannequin. Move. I sli- that's funny. That's why this isn't sweat. This is her pussy juice. Yeah. By the way, those uh, are some This is her pussy. Boots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love mm-hmm. in my moon boots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's Stevie Licks. L I X. Stevie yeah. Licks. That's okay. Right. So anyway, um, that's our <laughs> cast tonight. Our guest tonight. I want to talk about something that happened to me this weekend. Um, you know, because of this show, I had to do, I have, I've had to do two things I've never had to do in my fucking life. I had to get a marijuana medical, um, what do they call it? Recommendation. Huh? You just barely got that. I recommend yeah, somebody for you. Because, dude, I don't fucking need that to, to do any drugs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? come on. Shit. You know me, Olivia. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're in the That's system why now, I know man. you need that card. <laughs> yeah. But look, th- this is what I'm talking about. This Good is citizen. what they call a marijuana 
medical recommendation. Do you I have had the to card? get one of these. Like this uh, one? No, because it was 50 bucks. I don't be a Yo, cheap what? ass. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. I They're lucky. Free. This, cost, this cost me $40. $40 for it this. It didn't cost That's me a deal, man. to get the card. Let me see yours. You need yours to look like that. No. Do you realize oh, in no. Arizona it's 300 <laughs> for the same <laughs> fucking piece of paper? Fuck. Well, that Pimpin, man. respect Arizona. Oh, no, the so you know, I'm going to cut Pimpin. it. And then I got my nice little Arizona's got to pay people to live there. So now, thanks to the government <laughs> taking over the right? industry, yeah. there'll be a lot more where that yeah. came yeah. from. Okay. Look, all of you official. got those photo ID cards. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see yeah. Olivia's. Good little citizen. Uh, Look at that. Simple. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Doesn't mean I go to the clinic to get it, though. They needed to show your ass in that picture. Of course I have mine, but do I don't have, have it too? on me. Yeah, <coughs> but I have you it in have my car for when I'm card. transporting plants and well, anyway, doing anyway, my I, crimes. I gotta, I got, I gotta well, tell you guys, I it was, <laughs> it was quite a, it was quite an adventure. Did they bend you over? Uh, I felt uh, no, I felt like I was bending over. Wow. I was telling everybody at work, I can't fucking believe I have to go get a fucking piece of paper <laughs> to smoke something I've been doing since I was wow. eleven. My ass is fifty five now. <laughs> And I have to get a fucking piece of paper. I thought we voted to legalize recreational marijuana. Why we do did. we? Why do we still it have to get defect, shit? Think, well, right? when? Yeah. Well, get ready for it my to be really gonna... sodomized. Trust me, grab my... those ankles because yeah, anytime the government's getting the involved. No, 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 no. Well, and okay. I'm a patriot, a whore, so I can track, say that. Yeah. Oh, That's you are patriotic. That's a patriotic pussy. That's a red, white, and blue pussy right there. That's going to be even more blue if I get Look at that. Look at that. That's look, a little, oh, look at oh, that. We'll save ass. that for later. Look at, really? We'll save a little something. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk about my experience getting this fucking um, medical marijuana recommendation. Okay, first of all, like Olivia says, I'm a cheap ass. She knows me. Me and Olivia go way back. Olivia is one of my OG mofo wear girls. Okay, I, uh, I have a clothing line called mofo wear, mofo wear and uh She's been my mofo wear girl since 2003. I mean, Ooh. yeah, she's like one of the most down. I mean, one of the most down. Her flower Damn. Tucci, I mean, I can go on and on and on, but her and flower Tucci have been around since way back in the day, and they still host my events. They were just at my Toys for Tots uh, that I do every Christmas at Sardo's Bar in Burbank. Uh, it's the uh, mofo wear Toys for Tots. And I think that was like our what 12th or 13th year in a row i don't know but i believe if you if you if you're in the position to help out the homeless or whatever you got to do it man you got to do something but anyway let's talk about this um this adventure i had saturday so i had to work and I, as soon as i get off of work i decide uh i'm gonna go to the cheapest one i could find and the cheapest one i could find was for 30 dollars, right and so i head down there and it was far it was far and in the most fucked up part i'm not even gonna tell you if it was la county or orange county um but because i because they're gonna be they might be pissed but first of all fucked up street like no sidewalks how often <laughs> how, how, how often do you see a fucking street with no sidewalks like shit am i still in the united states was it a trap yeah. house though for real <laughs> no, no. and then and, yeah. then and then what is up with medical uh dispensaries and shit that they don't have no signage they're all like trying to hide and shit because they the feds like to fuck shit up for well, people that is why well, fuck. They, they even take down the street addresses the street number yeah. yes so here's my Do you ass you want to right? have a sign that says come raid us no come rob us that's right shit, they get raid robbed they too, rob us. too. Yeah. they're all paranoid they're stoned as it is right? they're fucking afraid they're gonna get robbed or raided and uh, did you guys know that when they raid these shops they take away their houses they freeze their assets. Yeah, yep. it's really messed they up. They take away everything just for selling marijuana. And right. That's a bullshit. It even, is a, bullshit. even if it doesn't stick, you know they never get their, their property back. Yeah. They, they get they get, get to keep even back. if they never yeah, they don't believe they don't believe in that it doesn't fit. Oh yeah. You if, must have quit. They're if, like, no, fuck you. Nah. We're taking everything. Oh, you're off your charges are gone, but we're still keeping your property. They'll take away your dog. Well, fuck. Your cat. Remember just driving to Mark Quell's house at like three AM and getting whatever you need <laughs> and fucking not dealing with any of that shit? Right, right, right. Those it, were it, the days, my I don't friend. know. So anyway, so I see this door, tiny ass 
ass sticker and I'm in my fucking big ass black truck. And they said, is that it? <laughs> so I park, which I'm more paranoid because it was weird. There was no, no sidewalk. Like I'm on the fucking, I don't know what it was. So I park and, um, off ramp. and I just opened the door and then there was another little room and a little secure, a little security guard <laughs> and the fucker is asleep. Oh, or shit. stoned did out of his mind, or dead. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh shit, oh hell no. Am I walking into a middle of a fucking robbery? Right? And then, um, so I'm like, oh well, whatever. So I open the door and it opens. And all of a sudden, big ass room, right? Nice room. It was a nice room. But, dude, there's like a camera every fucking five inches. Yeah. Like every five Smile. inches, there's a camera. I'm like, what the fuck? Get and then like a, <laughs> and then like a window, but like a bank window. That thick glass. Yeah, yeah. Totally. That thick ass glass, and the counter was high as fuck. Now I'm short, but I'm not that short. The fucking counter's like the here. I can barely look over. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fucking there's a bell, right? Ring bell, whatever. And I'm trying to look over, and I don't see anybody in there. Just like a table and a printer, I think. And a but a badass black. Um, curtain like of beads but like a black and red glass beads okay and i'm like oh okay okay and i ring the bell and the fucking bell doesn't ring there it was like a <laughs> like a asian uh <laughs> what do they call those gong? Gong. Gong. yeah like in those gong. kung fu movies <laughs> and i'm like oh what the fuck everybody was cheap for smoke yeah and and uh <laughs> so i'm like whoa man so i ring it again because it sounded cool <laughs> And I'm like, oh, and all of a sudden, right through the the curtain comes out. I the best way to describe her would be she looked like a kung fu master. <laughs> like oh little uh oh, yes, I, I, Asian lady, right? And she had those things like Bruce Lee wears, you know, those buttons right down the middle. And she's just coming walking, <laughs> and I'm just looking at her. And then I go, hey, that's a, that's a cool curtain. And then she goes, you here for evaluation? I go, no, no, I'm here for the uh, recommendation. Yeah. She goes, evaluation first. Ooh. Here. And she gives me like a stack of paperwork, right? And I'm like, okay. It was like 12, 12 fucking pages I had to fill out of all kinds of questions. Like what? Well, duh, you're trying uh, to get a medical recommendation. Right. You um, gotta give him some information. Have you ever been uh, convicted of this? Have you <laughs> smoked this? Or what is your problem? You know, da 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 12 pages and, of Yeah, those. and then, but there was one page that said, you must release your medical records. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and uh, I'm like, what? And then oh, I okay. ask her, I go, excuse me, I don't feel too comfortable releasing my medical records. She goes, okay. And I give her the paperwork. She goes, have a good afternoon. I go, whoa, 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 wait. I go, I, ha got, I, I have to fill it out. She goes, if you yes. want evaluation. And I'm like, okay. So wow. anyway, I fill it out. I give it to her. And then she goes, doctor, we'll see you soon. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, she never opened her eyes. Her <laughs> eyes were closed. She's kind of like this. And I'm thinking either she's stoned out of her mind or, or really she really is, is like a blind kung fu master. <laughs> or <laughs> all three. <laughs> right. And I'm trying not, because I'm stoned, you know, and I'm thinking this is cool. Wait, you went stoned? Yeah, of course. Oh, you without and your I, recommendation? And I'm, <laughs> and I'm wearing a Canapornia <laughs> t-shirt, which I brought you guys some Canapornia shirts. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. So anyway. Love those. So she goes, yes. doctor ready to see you. Doctor She goes, Finger. follow me. And I'm like, ooh. Happy ending? So, yes, oh, exactly. Yeah. Tap two times. So, I walk behind this wall, and then she goes, the door with the black doorknob. And it was like a long uh, hallway, and uh, I'm like, yes. <laughs> so, I go over there. <laughs> I open the door, and the room, beige floor, beige walls, beige ceiling, and one little table. Interrogation room to me. Like with a so laptop scary. on it. And that's it. <laughs> Now, <laughs> have any of you have any of you seen Black Mirror on Netflix? Yep. There's an episode, you know what I'm talking about? Where he walks in, right, and he's trying to make money for a medical experiment. And you know what happens to him. So I'm like thinking, oh, oh no. hell no, I'm <laughs> fucking scared. 
this is crazy. And I look at the, because the, it was a small laptop. So the monitor itself was small. And all I see is face, mm. like a face of somebody, some white dude. And I'm like, what the hell? Mm. And all of a sudden, Lady, Lady Wing Chun <laughs> <laughs> appears out of nowhere. There are other patients you must expedite or something like that. I'm like, there was nobody in there. But anyway, she's rushing me. So I let go of the door. <laughs> I wouldn't let go of the door, Olivia. That's how fucking scared I was. <laughs> <laughs> she had to come tell me, motherfucker, get your big ass in there. Fucking cholo looking fucker. Get your, <laughs> sit your ass in that <laughs> chair. Why are you being such a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Am I ever going to be seen again? <laughs> so, yeah. Like, have your recommendation. Like, so oh, you need to go fuck. to the one on the road. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so I sit down. And now, listen to this. I sit down, right? I'm in front of the monitor. And the guy goes, can you move to the right, please? Can you scoot to the right? So I scoot to the right in the chair. He goes, no, my right. Scoot to my right. <laughs> stage <laughs> right. Stage left, right. Your yeah. stage directions. So I, scoot, I scoot to the other fuck, his right. And then he goes, um, excuse me, can you scoot down? I'm Ooh. like, fuck. So now I'm like, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> like fucking like this. And I go, and then he goes, okay, That's you weird. are. It's like a he webcam goes, session. Yeah. He goes, you are here for severe insomnia, correct? Party, I party. Go, yeah, yes. Yeah. Right? And then he goes, you are here for severe problems that your insomnia is correcting on your health, correct? Yes. And then he goes, According to your questionnaire, <laughs> the only thing that re that relieves your insomnia is licking white girls' assholes. <laughs> 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 no, yes. my kind of. I was gonna say, yeah, the future of <laughs> medicine. <laughs> Prescribe me some right of that. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. He, he, he oh. goes smoking marijuana. I go yes, uh -huh. and then he goes, I am recommending medical marijuana for your insomnia. Oh wow. And it then he, and, <laughs> and then he just st just stays staring at me. Now remember, all I can see is like above his eyebrows and like his jaw. So, because that's so weird. Do you think he was jerking off? I mean, I the know. ones what, I went to, we met. I think person. he was in the next what, fucking room. What was he think, right? Was he like side watching the screenshot of Olivia? Over here? I don't know. <laughs> I think he was watching other things while at work, and that's the future of medicine. I had the, I had the Skype down. show. I had My the wife had a job interview like that. Yeah, yeah. Because right? you've yeah, never so smoked before, before you got the license, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Wow. And ah. then, um, so we're just kind of like staring at each other because waiting for him to say something. All of a sudden, fucking Lady Wing Chun standing behind me. She came out of nowhere. And she goes, y your uh, paperwork is waiting. So I walk <laughs> behind her. And then I, I go, okay. I, I go, I brought this thing with me. It said it was $25. Cause I had it printed, cause, you know me. Was it like parents. a Groupon or something? Yeah, something like that. And then she goes, "No, no, it's forty. No, I go forty. She goes, "The fee and something else." I'm like, "Oh." And you pay up <laughs> big time. So I paid her the forty dollars, oh. and anyway, that was it. Is cheap. But um, I, I was, I like felt, I felt like <laughs> defeated. No, you know I mean? I'm no, I did. I felt like I gave in to the man. Like you, you I can't did. believe this. Because I you got mine for twenty five plus yeah. my car, and I didn't have to go that far. And my place had streets and a parking lot. Damn you, That's Mr. Cheap. Koch. True yeah. that. West Side, right? <laughs> Mr. Koch. West Same side. thing. Thirty five over by the beach. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, but it's all good. So now you've conformed. You've done your due diligence. Right. And what do you plan to do with this now that you've become such a law abiding citizen here Hopef for the first time in your life? Hopefully, sleep at night and lead a less anxiety life. Because oh, he yeah. used to prescribe yes. you medical yes. marijuana for Thank your you, insomnia. marijuana. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, marijuana. First time, 2017. You've made it a great year. Thank you. Now, after that, let's talk about dreamy little <laughs> cupcakes. What? And I'm not talking about Stevie Licks' nipples, <laughs> by the way. Licks her nipples? <laughs> I'm not talking about her nipples. They can't um, come out here, though, because this is, like, family-friendly. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Well, you, right. Can, you, can look, you can look at me, and they can come out. <laughs> and yeah. rub all over them. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> oh, Olivia, you want to introduce... Oh, this is Olivia's business. Wait, wait. Olivia has her own business now called Dreamy Little Cupcakes. And uh, that's it right there. Go ahead, Olivia. Talk about it. How you started, <laughs> how delicious they are. 
Well, it started because um, I was a new mom and trying to figure out a way to still make money but be home with my baby because nobody was going to be watching my child <laughs> but me. <laughs> I was that crazy first right time on. mom. Yes, I was. <laughs> yeah. um, so I've always baked. Um, I always would host uh, dinners and events at my house and friends and family would always say, you know, why don't you sell your shit like it's amazing sell it like pussy <laughs> and i was mm. like you know what mm. 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 i think i can do that and i yes, just started yes. playing around with different recipes um i've been baking for forever since i was a young kid um and i started putting flavor combos together and just trying to um market my stuff right like and you have a youtube you have a youtube channel i have a youtube um olivia a lovely triple x um that just so that way you know how to find me because there's nothing triple X on it at all anymore. <laughs> you can Google for that. Too. You're a cock teaser. Uh, I am. You are a cock what? teaser. She teasing me? <laughs> 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 mm. But I'm putting up little videos of when I bake stuff or when I cook stuff or just me farting around. Um, so you guys should subscribe to that. That way you can stay up to date, um, see what, what I'm into now and how I do some of the things I do um, with frosting. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to try some? I want to get in her yeah. box. Yeah. <laughs> it looks tasty. I got, it's very I, got, sweet. I got a little box you and, and a bigger box. You and about a billion other oh, in, in both yeah. boxes. In those boxes. I brought strawberry lemon cupcakes Oof. for you guys. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. There are freeze-dried oh, strawberries moist. on top. <laughs> vanilla cake. I don't think they're lemon. more moist than Stevie Licks. Oh, dreamy little strawberry Swiss meringue buttercream. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh my! Oh goodness, I hope that bar is not blocking oh that. Goodness. There's like a bar at the bottom oh that no. describes the show. I hope it wasn't blocking that. Oh well, if it is, then I'll just have to. I'll take a bite. Do a special <laughs> outtake. I have to take a bite too because mm. I'm only gonna take one bite because I know nobody likes watching a fat fuck to eat. To I'm trying I to. Be, I, I'm, I'm looking. At I it love like watching a beast of a man. Now, Ooh. Now, now, now hold on. If no, she's this talented, food. look how cute. Look how cute this cupcake <laughs> is. If she's this talented with this type of frosting, mm. I can only imagine. Furthermore, how she was in the industry. Not to keep oh. talking about it. I'm just. She's saying. a legend. Mm. You you put you're all into this. Yo, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can not take it serious. Yeah. I have Whoa. an Instagram, a it's Facebook. Okay. Look at that website. filling in the middle. It's like oh, there's filling in the middle. <laughs> it's oh. like a cream. Oh. Mm. <laughs> What's yes. the filling? It's a lemon. My curd. sperm. Oh, lemon uh, curd. Uh, so what high. Is <laughs> my sperm. <laughs> mofo <laughs> sperm. <laughs> mofo geez. Well, <laughs> um, no, I'm still this is so shit. decadent. I'm a hedonist personally. I believe mm. that the best diet is to feel good. Right. Oh. And to also oh, deep throat the mic. Mm. <laughs> and um, <coughs> yeah, it's like do the opposite of everything, right? Eat carbs, mm. eat sugar, mm -hmm. eat before bed, mm -hmm. eat meat. Eat pussy. Eat pussy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. Or don't. Wow. Eat ass. And, and like eat with your hands too. Like that is so Indian and mm -hmm. like other cultures, yeah. but it's about being in touch with your mouth and the mm -hmm. mouth is like this whole orgasmatron. That's mm. true. Damn. Mm. Right Can I be in touch with your mouth? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I know, sorry. we should be working I'm together. Also mm. okay. I'm Making also playing this is marshmallows, good. gourmet marshmallows. Oh. I started playing around with those and I brought raspberry chocolate ones for you guys. Mm. Damn. Mm. Damn. Oh shit. Mm. Wait, wait, mm. you made your own marshmallows? I did. I've never heard of anybody doing that. Sex for the wow, mouth, I gotta Olivia. Have one. Oh I gotta have my one. fuck. I'm I don't carry on and go on and on about bitches shit either. That's not me. <laughs> if you know me, I will be like, take one bite and no. To but know her is to jerk off to her. This is bizarre. Good. This is bizarre, dude. And I'm a sweet lover. Now, do you make medicinal or just mainly like She's gonna real be. family She's gonna be. friendly? I'm going to learn how to do it. I haven't messed around with it as much as I oh my God. smoke. <laughs> in vape and all that stuff um mm. i haven't baked with um marijuana butter yet so wouldn't you agree that love is the most important ingredient can yeah. I love can i commission I you love what I, I, need, I, I need a yeah. dozen and you taste well, that yeah i'll oh. give you guys my card oh. Dr Dr remember dreamy little cupcakes what's your dreamy. facebook it's uh mm. dreamy little cupcakes mm. yeah y'all need like to follow down. this this is instagram because you ship cupcakes. right no you can't you deliver it yourself in a g-string <laughs> I don't mm. deliver it in a G string. Imagine, but imagine you, that. And it. It Mr. Cock, me. imagine Fucking if she did it. that. <laughs> Man, I would be ordering them. I'd be ordering She'd never, go home. She'd never be home. Yeah, I'd be like, no, no, no. Imagine, imagine Olivia. I got you on retainer, girl. 
What's your retainer fee? <laughs> Let me know. Buy her mm-hmm. ass mm-hmm. out. Wait, wait, wait. I can like see you on Shark Tank or some shit. shit. Olivia, you know, what, what, like what, 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 today. Olivia, corner, Olivia, been, Olivia been throat. with Saudi Arabian nah, motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't think anyone could have fucking afford Olivia. Mm, mm. Mm. I <laughs> couple people to I'm actually very fair with my baking prices, and okay. um, you know, obviously. That wasn't I a fart. That was eat. a burp. I mean, I might throw to that thing. I'm like, <laughs> See, I, know. I, I was like, I'm gonna keep just eating. Yeah, I don't I even want to throw. I'm like, I'm like, damn, that was. That there was are two more good. in there. Hey, oh no, and then not. do you there's go there's to there's like a bakery? Bottom. I mean, no, it's all about direct to you. Yes, I would love thing. to have a, a brick and mortar, but I don't have one. Right You'll on. get there. You'll you get will. there. I'm a cottage food No, no. Baker. That's what it's all this about, putting it out there, good. man. Yes. The universe is one big pussy waiting to get fucked. But mm. if you call it out and you let her know, oh, my God. Uh, okay, so what is this texture? This, this is a, that's uh, a marshmallow. I got to wait on that. That is a homemade I'm marshmallow. still enjoying this. Mm. I still have a piece of cupcake mm, in my mouth. Mama. Fuck my soul. All those that follow me on Instagram, they know I have more food. And more sweets. Everybody knows mm. me. Knows I'm. I, I love my sweet. I have a sweet tongue on my sweet palate on my tongue. I don't like. This is motherfucking like, good. Can they see that? This, right. this like is so motherfucking good. <laughs> uh, so there's you made raspberry. marshmallows. This is a raspberry yeah. chocolate marshmallow. Oh my god! Totally yeah. Valentine's. Mm-hmm. Is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I would love mm. to have mm. those with yeah. shrooms. Nah. Imagine oh my those God. marshmallows with shrooms. I haven't been able to isn't find good fresh, shrooms these isn't days. A fresh and we'll I'm in Venice Beach. Beach. Like, we'll talk after we'll after stuff you get in Not bags. even that. I've never had a flavored marshmallow. They claim to be flavored when you buy, you know. Those and you don't need a green piece of like fucking paper this is for that. Fucking good. <laughs> I made. Um, well, we need some green paper. DreamyLittleCupcakes.com. Get your ass on there. Order some motherfucking cupcakes. These motherfuckers. I can ship my marshmallows. I can ship my cookies. Um. I, if I cupcake, can ship cake cops, just not. Um, yeah. If these cupcakes. cupcakes tasted that motherfucking good, and this marshmallow take that motherfucking good, them cookies is gonna taste bomb as fuck. The fun. motherfucking good. Mm, I'm just telling you. Is gonna be fuck the keep good. Real, excuse my language. Well, not really. Chips <laughs> like Oreos, y'all yeah, off the no. list. I need a monthly order shipped to me. And you <laughs> made them. <laughs> okay, That's the I'm thing. Good. I want them because you made them. Mm. This motherfucking good. I'm sorry. Oh, lovely as you and, are. And you know another <laughs> reason. Another reason why I have Olivia Lovely on, I don't know if you guys mm. noticed the trend, if you've watched every show of Canapornia, I always have like a retired porn star and then like a, you know, a current porn star. Cupcake and the hair. reason why I like to have a retired porn stars, porn stars is I like to show the world, okay, um, that Olivia Lovely is another example of a girl who got into porn, right, did her thing, and is now a retired porn star, but a healthy woman with a great family and a career she loves. She's not sitting looking like a cracked out homeless bitch in an alley with a fucking heroin needle sticking out of her arm. You you have a lot of porn activists out there, right? Anti-porn activists out there that try to make it sound uh, like every porn chick that retires ends up fucking dead somewhere. And that's not the truth, okay? Or Some of the of most some. beautiful, <laughs> strong-minded, dependent pussy I've met have been porn stars. Fuck all yeah. All right? So that's why I have Olivia Lovely on to show that's another right. example of like, like look at her. Yeah. Would you fuck with her? I wouldn't fuck with her. That's an empowered woman. Well, that's you the know? big buzz thing is empowered women, women's right. empowerment. It's like mm-hmm. the pussy power, I, I did not find it. I, I fucking searched. I, I look low and high for mm-hmm. a motherfucking empowered woman. Mm-hmm. And I got into the porn industry, like later in life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me too, yeah. And I walked into the room, and it was Christy Canyon when I went on Vivid oh, for her first show. And I was massaging her big, award-winning, fucking oh. mega, mega God, goddess yeah, worship, too. okay? <laughs> Just like goddess worshiping her. And... I was like, damn, I finally found an empowered woman. Right. And then one after the next. And it is. It's it's unique and intrinsic to the type of woman who would live through porn. I have been on right. Christy live. Canyon's show. I have been on Christy Canyon's show. Have like you three massaged or four her times. breasts? No. No, you weren't like Oh, yeah. To. I've massaged them like 15 times. Nah, nah. I, I would love to lick her ass on this. Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's like, what is women's empowerment? And I see the same thing. It's like these women I meet, they have families, Mm -hmm. they have children, they have an identity that's intact that's like way, you can't buy that shit. And people are like paying money to sit in support groups and shit. I'm in West LA. 
I'm in the hub of the most privileged fucking, like, they have People. not only daddy's credit card, but they have hubby's credit card. Right. And they're sitting in these groups trying to become empowered. And, uh, and I was in that shit being, you know, I'm a yoga teacher. I teach nude yoga oh, on awesome. my pay site. Oh, okay. shit. And Tantra. And it's all about using your cock as a magical wand. Now, let me ask you something about yoga. For, like, wellness, right? Right. Right. Let me ask you something about uh, yoga in general. I heard people fart a lot in yoga. Is that true? I never farted one time doing yoga. You, you know, feel like it though. <laughs> that you better shit, hold that shit. I, I made up a whole new word for that shit. What is it? it? And this is why I don't teach. I'm not in the mainstream of yoga. Like See, I would fetish. rather be in the porno yoga. Because mm-hmm. I think that's all that it is, is a fetish. Right. These guys are going, they want to see the girls bent over, the pussies in your face. And I'm at these worshiping the goddess, chanting. Every single fucking one. I, I'm certified training, everything ends up in a lesbian orgy. Every single yoga teacher training I've been to ended up in a lesbian orgy. So I was all like, just with strap-ons? truthful with fucking strap-ons, like time travel, orgasm. So I'm like, when are we gonna start making porn? When are we gonna start making, I'm down in Venice Beach, like when are we gonna start making porn? So nobody wanted to make porn, but um, it's a whole new word, it's called budussy, which is when you fucking teach that <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's ass, booty, pussy, Fart, it's called, bodu- it's booty, pussy, ass. It's just like, badussy. And you go into the space and you're like, man, like, it smells like badussy up in here. <laughs> they must have just did a yoga class. You need to make a t-shirt. Oh, came over that. my house. And that's kind of my little commentary you need to, on you it You know all. what? You need to start a She's clothing funny. line. You need to start a clothing line with that name. Badussy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. my God. Well, okay. I just you find know, it to be better as badussy. a porno. Life is better as a porn for me. That's how I cope. It's my social political medicine. Well, I got the cure and like the remedy for, for that. that. Of I course he does. He's Mr. Cock. Yeah, no, I was going to say I was going to make her smile. <laughs> Nothing about my cock, but if she wants to lick my cock. But only for a minute, then what? But a minute? You know what? Do you know who day? you're talking about? No, I ain't, a min- I ain't no one minute, man. Well, I mean, oh, for, wait a minute. You okay, brought For an hour you know or a day or five days. Stevie Licks and Mr. Cock just brought on the subject I wanted to talk to you about. It's oh. right here. Okay. Ooh. Chris Cock, you're a porn star. Obviously, you have fucked a lot of pussy, right? I'm a talented guy. A lot of guys, okay? Because, like I told you guys, I work. I work a mainstream job, right? And I ask them sometimes, hey, man, what do you want me to ask on the show? Or what do you want me to ask some of these uh, porn star dudes? And one of the things they always tell me is, because this is a common problem. I still have the fucking problem, and I'm old as fuck. Oh, my God. (laughs) What what do you do? What's your technique? What's your advice on not coming too fast? Oh man, fuck. Okay, tell it. Tell okay. it. Go into detail. Go into detail. All right. Before I came here, I was busy on my way. Thank God I wasn't late. Was just there, and it was just. I mean, if you first off, let me say this, ladies, if you're listening, and a guy nuts quick. Take it as a fucking compliment. Don't give him grief about it. That just means your pussy is that fucking good. Do you hear that, me. honey? Don't look at me. I'm just saying. Cause honey, I'm do you hear that? I'm like, your pussy My good. wife can't believe that I still come too fast. <laughs> no, that that means that, so that that's husband, that. But I don't complain at all. No, that mm. that that's that's a connection a right there. Time. Like you know what I mean? It. Like like if you if you come quick, it's just that good. You're that into right. the chick. Period. Right. Right. Well, for whatever reason, you're that into her. And then if you go on a marathon after you've been with somebody for a long time, then you're just concentrating on trying to satisfy them or you're trying to show your manhood. Just show your manhood, be you, and say, hey, girl, look, I busted quick, but don't trip. I'll be ready in 30 seconds again. Don't even worry <laughs> about it. I got you for the rest of the night. That, Let me that, just that, get this one out the way real quick. That's young right. cock talking. And if talking. she knows that. <laughs> that's but, young cock right. talking. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm 38. We're, we're oh, going yeah. to sleep. No, I'm 38. Oh, I'm 38. I, I, I got you beat right. by two It's years. okay, but you look sexy enough to be underneath me. Uh-huh. And I mean underneath me, but no, I won't go there. I'm Sorry, I'm sorry, she should sorry. still do video, but yeah, she doesn't no, no, because no. she's a family woman. No, no, but you could do video. You can direct you these to. no's. Oh. You can direct these new uh, young girls on uh, what to do because some uh, of them come anyway. Back to what you was asking. I'm just thinking about if I could bake like that. Okay. Yeah. Back to what you was asking. No, honestly, this is what they, I, I, I tell new guys that come into the industry, not just just other guys. I get in the Instagram, Twitter all the time. Honestly, to not come quick, stop being selfish. Right. That's one quick way to think about it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, literally, it's like, okay, don't be like, I'm going to come or wait to the last minute. If you know your body and you know you're going to come, don't wait to the fucking last stroke to stop yourself. You know it's coming. 
Stop fucking 15 strokes before that. Calm down. Pull your dick out. Go eat a fucking pussy. And all y'all men, man, I was going to say the other word. All y'all men that say y'all don't like pussy, then you don't deserve to get your dick sucked. Because what goes around comes around. Mm. Learn how to That's please right. a girl without <sighs> fucking trying to ram your dick all up in there. Because some guys in porn, I hear it all the time. They got bigger dicks than me. They got thicker dicks than me. Mm-hmm. But so many girls say they don't know how to use it. Right. So right. The sensuality, the that it's intention, a, your vibration. Right. You want you want to pound it, you want to pound it? I got a thing I call the no stroke nut. Not for me. No stroke. Put it in the girl. Give them pressure. They will fucking orgasm. You don't have to fucking stroke. Wow. I have had that happen. I know. Yeah. And I and yeah. I tested there's it. There's only one it. dude in the industry that yeah. knew how to do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say And me. now there's two, but you know, <laughs> we will never work together. So I'll just have to get her to tell you that I can do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I, I mean that. you, Stevie. Yeah, we're gonna let her know that. Yeah, <coughs> it's cool. Yeah. Now, what about? Yeah. I hope positions. I asked you a question. Did I? You know, you did, okay. but <coughs> are there certain positions that help you last longer? No, because you know what <laughs> position I come fast. I mean, fast <laughs> in Doggy. when when my wife gets on top of me. Mm. Oh, I'm ride. done. Oh, yeah. I'm done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ride you into the sunset. Yeah. Huh? I'm done. Yes. I can't. I like, I, uh, and I look at her face of disappointment. No. And Aww. sadness. No. Well, yes. She's, this, she's this, like, oh, she, no. You gotta tell her. <laughs> that, Don't go point, on top until you, we've been you're together. Ready. You know. Oh. You know what's coming. I'm sorry. You know what's coming. <laughs> Why are you good up yeah, there? Why that, you get that up there? That position we avoid. We avoid because yeah. it, 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 it's That's not happening. Funny. It's not gonna last. I long. can't even ride anymore because of my stupid nerve damage on my hip. What? Say R.I.P. Nerve time. damage from what? Ho hip. From porn? Ho hip. Oh, I'm not epidural. saying you a hoe, but I call that ho hip in my line of work. You can get that from time to time. <laughs> wow. I got. I started getting it in the industry, and I always had problems with Ho's my hip, hip. But it started like it started just being like fucking painful to do certain positions. Um, but after I had an emergency C-section, they had to give me an epidural. I got um, nerve damage. Did down they hit a nerve the down there? Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. like, I deal with pain every day. No, I see. And nothing no. works. No, see. Medical marijuana doesn't no, work. See. Topical med- marijuana creams don't work. Tell your husband to eat your pussy. It's, it's, so no. it's only your mind, basically. It's almost like I, I've dealt with that as well. Actually, mm. that's why I became a proponent of medical marijuana. Mm. Not just mm. I'm in Venice Beach, Jack Hair. I mean, that's where the movement really started. Right. It's so authentic as a medicine right and then the yoga and massage because it's like the the western medicine they will fucking kill you basically right yeah, i don't the right. shit they will pills. give you will kill you yeah. well you and know and it's like you have to change your mind paradigm and i had to accept for myself this is my new normal right and it's almost like trick yourself and escapism is a huge part of it and mm-hmm. being an entertainer myself i really believe music like stories just entertaining ourselves in a way and then if you can break the obsession like you don't think about it as much right. it doesn't define you as much it's always right. there yep. and that's why I have so right. much compassion like anyone who's dealing with legitimately wanting to break that I call it pain release mm-hmm. and then there's the trauma that goes with that it's mm-hmm. cellular and we have to work on ourselves we are our own guru mm-hmm. that's that there's no one who's going to save us but ourselves so I yeah, just no, applaud I, you, know, you know that <coughs> you even bring that up yeah you know yeah, as far as like yeah, the crazy. pain, yeah. the pain part that you're talking about, uh, you know, I, I love lifting weights. I, I've, I've lifted heavy weights forever since I was like 17, but I had to stop like about three, four years ago because my shoulders and elbows just would, wouldn't take it. But anyway, finally, when the pain went away about a year ago, I said, okay, what do I need to do to lift weights without pain? So what I did was now i only do one body part a day like i'll only do chest and then i only do triceps then i only do biceps but i go all out and i only do like one exercise but and i'm telling you there's no pain but i'm still lifting heavy Mm. you know so what i'm saying is if even if there is pain you just got to work through it somehow and then take care of whatever you got to do. Right. Like what I do, like other than smoke weed, I take uh, uh, an ibuprofen at night before I go to bed. And, that's, and that seems to help. But what really helps is Better the stretching. Heroin. You, yes. yeah, you got to stretch. You got to stretch a lot. Works. And uh, and that'll help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stretch your yeah. mind, man, mainly. And, and, and I think that's what the weed really is. Helps. It's a portal. The marijuana, it's well, not necessarily the cure, but right. it helps you to not Relax. be chained mm-hmm. into your reality. And let's, let's talk about the weed. Let's educate a little bit here. I know we always talk a lot about sex, but, you know, um, 
when I went that day, they gave me this little paper, right? It says different types of medical cannabis. Mm-hmm. And according to this thing, the best thing for pain and muscle relaxant is indica. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, I yeah, smoke yeah. is indica. So yeah. I told my dude, hey, I only want indica for now on. He's mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck, motherfucker. That's hard to get. Hey, motherfucker, I want indica. Hard to get. Now, do you hard guys agree? Hard to get. Yeah, hard to get. That's what he get. said. Or oh, was that his excuse to charge you more? That's his excuse to charge you more. Call me. But anyway, yeah. I am. I okay. will call Mr. Cox. Okay. No, I, I'm not going to call you. I'm just going to follow his ass home. Yeah. Yeah. I, you I, can, I, I think mean, I'd rather the, follow the Stevie Lick's home. You can get well, she's coming with me. Like, so. Oh, damn. Okay. Really good price. Let's get the. Let's go ahead. Now that we educated, so we all of us recommend indica, right? Yes. Well, no, okay, but uh, but see, I smoke sativa because I'm an artist. I have to think. I have to be on point. I have to like function at a high level. Function, it right. keeps you so up. it's like sativa during the day, maybe a Jack Hair XJ13, something real like. Mm. And then at night, indica I chemo sure. patient myself basically and yeah. put OG, myself OG. down. Yeah. OG, OG. I, that's all I smoke Cashmere OG, OG or well, all, like what are you smoking on right now? Oh my gosh, it's an OD and I just Go got G. it and I can't even. I'm, I'm smoking on Girl Scout. Like I've like I've had pound of Girl Scout. Right <laughs> look, look, no. look. Let me let me let me tell you guys something. Legally, my of course. Legally, let, of course. Yeah. Let me of tell course. you guys something. I'm old school and and Olivia knows. Yeah. I. Nice. Oh. I have a vape of Girl yeah. Scout cookies. Olivia yeah. knows I can't Love say no to anything or anyone. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm going to smoke it or whatever. Eat it. So when people ask me, what do you smoke? Motherfucker, I don't what know. What you got? That's <laughs> what I'm like. Shit, we got all sophisticated. <laughs> right. what what? You, know, uh, you know what's the level of THC? Supreme Motherfucking. Oh, yeah. although, although, although we were just <laughs> talking about this this past <laughs> weekend, it. I said, okay, I'm going to judge how old you are in the room by if one word I say and you look at me and shake your head or you look at me and throw your shoulders up. I said, stress. Oh man! <laughs> I said stress, right? right. Two people look at me, shook their, shook their head. Everybody right. else, and I'm in a room of 15 people. No, two, people <laughs> two people knew what the fuck I was talking about. I was like, "Yo, that's we need your to weak go. ass weed." <laughs> yeah. For those of you well, that don't know, <laughs> let me let me take let me take let me take. Chronic take a was your good then. <laughs> yeah, that was chocolate tie. <laughs> I remember when chocolate tie came yeah. out. Yeah, I missed that strain. Let me tell you a little story real quick that pissed my pissed my wife off. This was a couple years ago. We went to a Halloween party and we didn't know anybody. We got invited, uh, uh, my brother-in-law and uh, took us there, right? It was a house party somewhere in East LA. And me and my wife were walking, and we're walking up the driveway, up the driveway and there's some homeboys over there. And one of them says, hey man. And he offers me, look like a blunt or whatever. And I just smoked it. You didn't, I, you didn't right. what? what? Oh, you God. didn't smoke crack. <laughs> right. It right. Been right. Daddy. right. It could have been a fucking super cool of angel dust. <laughs> Dude, my I'll wife got pissed. She's like, man, you don't fucking change, do you? No. You just fucking do anything. Yeah. I'm like, oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops. I did oops. it again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but anyway, you know, that that that's me. Um, so, uh, you know, don't like, I, I don't know technical shit about anything. But some people do, and that's cool, and I understand that. Don't try this but, at home, um, kids, basically. Yeah, that's why when, when I go into the dispensaries, kids. they got all this shit. Yeah. Dude, yeah. what the fuck? All the menus. Dude, I just want to get fucked up. I just want to get high. Well, you know, this, no. This is uplifting with an aroma. <laughs> it's an award winner. Like, yeah. It's damn. a beautiful flower. But you, but you know but you know what? You <laughs> guys, I guess you guys oh, are you a good, flower? You guys are a good pan- panel flower? to ask. Do you think that... Uh, marijuana makes a difference as far as and I'm asking Olivia and Stevie as far as getting wet do you get wetter when you're stoned or does it matter no I think it's harder because you know you get cotton mouth that affects everything oh so you get cotton pussy yes oh shit and I'm gonna be a but cotton you, picking you, somebody ninja. else better not be <laughs> as high as I am so they can spit on that shit yeah, cotton it's gonna pussy. take a little more work <laughs> oh shit Stevie do you agree I can't no, imagine. No, actually, I, I have I the opposite Im- problem. <laughs> Pussy dripping Lucky. wet, mouth dripping wet. I'm perma-stoned. <laughs> like, even before the show, like, I don't, I'm, I'm perma-stoned. I've been yeah, stoned for a mouth. while. Right. Maybe it's because yeah. you smoke sativa more. And I live by the beach. I'm going to so test I'm that out. I'm a spoiled <laughs> bitch. <laughs> the beach makes your pussy wet? Oh, hold on. Yeah. I'm going to test those that I- out. I'm going to All those ions, right? Mr. Cox going under the table. That's what he's doing. Um... So you say it gives you cotton. Mm. Oh. 
it gives you a cotton pussy. Oh. Yeah, sometimes. I think it right. depends on, it's not every time. It depends on how stoned I am, actually. Right. Like, if I'm super, so if we oh, smoked oh, a lot, I'm going to be, <laughs> right. I'm going to be, it's going to be harder. <laughs> you better go down there and fix the situation. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm back. Ultra Supreme. But, but you know what? You can always get around that if, when you, when there's a cog in my mouth anyway. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay, so are you like myself? I get that's wet. my lubricant. Yes. Sucking cock. Yes. I am like, okay, How that's the only that? reason I might yeah. not be sopping wet. Because yeah. I need to suck your I need to worship right. it. What worship about balls? Right. What about licking balls? Well, yeah. The whole apparatus. You know what? I fucking don't like licking balls. I don't care about your oh. balls. I've done it for camera, but I don't really care about them oh. at all. I like well, going into a trance and just fucking giving monster head with like nine inch nails on. Just like, <laughs> now, Mr. Cock, do you, <laughs> 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 you know, you know. Oh my gosh, you reminded wait a me of that cockatoo that was going crazy. Wait a minute, that one queen. Wait a minute, you know what? This is the per- right this and then I like make a motherfucker a sandwich. Wait, how's my this hair? is the perfect. Over my hair. Wait, this is the perfect intro awesome. into a new segment we got that we're starting tonight. It's called the Spotlight segment, and what that means is. Look, you know, I met. I get in trouble. I, I, I met Chris Cock and Stevie Licks for the first time tonight. I only know them through Twitter. That's how I'm getting most of my guests. I know. Through Twitter. It's like our so LinkedIn and shit. What I do LinkedIn. now, what I'm going to do starting tonight, all right, I go through people's timeline on Twitter, and if I see something, hmm, I want to see that hmm. on the show so other people oh can God. see, I'm going to ask them to do it. So, what we're going to do right now, if you go to Stevie Licks' profile, she describes herself as a porn star, a rapper, a Venice Beach bitch, and patriotic whore. <laughs> really? That's right. a good combination. Wow. I like that. I never thought I said that. Yeah, look I must at have it. been really stoned. <laughs> 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 you need to look at your own bio. But That's anyway, funny. <laughs> so what we're going to do right now, we're going to play some original music my hair. that Stevie Licks wrote I'm and perform. Okay. And this song is called Pussy. And weed. Pussy and weed. Pussy and weed. Ah. And we're going to play it, you know, 30, 35 seconds. Sh- should and I she's this? just going to dance to it. Wait till you see the way Stevie moves. Ooh. Okay? Uh-huh. Now I didn't um, know I was going to be put on the spot, mofo. Well, you know. And I can finally call someone mofo and not be, like, using an obscenity. <laughs> that's right. really your name. Right. Yeah. I was like, no, yeah, I got to be is. mofo. No, that's his name. Mofo. That's yeah. The this mofo, mofo over here going to smoke some good weed this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So whenever you're ready, Stevie. I'm I'll born ready. Play. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll. Uh, here we go. Heart. Just don't show anything. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't show anything. Here we go. Original music by yours truly. Blaze up, bitch. All I need in this life is some pussy and weed. Pussy and weed is all I really need. Mary Jane, my girl. Mary Jane, my boo. Smoke, smoke, and now it's all, all we do. Wow. Look at that. That's a white girl. New shit out. (laughs) Yes. Well, I'm a child of the universe. You know, I I was raised in the projects in Uh, Cleveland. I'm going to have to take it to my sound studio. So I fucking paid my dues, okay? Yes, yes. Yes. Can I take it to my sound studio? Yes. I need to take it to my sound studio. Now, I want to say something. I want to do something here real quick. Uh, I was going to save it for the end of the show, but I really don't want to end the show on a bummer, so I'm going to do it right now. Um, Uh, This is going to be a little little, uh, tribute real quick to... uh, my father-in-law, uh, my wife's dad, unfortunately and sadly, passed away on Friday. Oh. Okay, and his name was Carlos, but they called him Don Carlos. And the reason why I bring him up is the fact of the matter is I owe that man big time. Uh, number one, I probably I wouldn't have my house if it wasn't for him. Okay, he put the down payment to our house, and there's no way we'd ever could have afforded it back then or even now okay mm. but what i really want to thank him for is um uh, i wouldn't be here a long time ago um i would probably be locked up if that man didn't pay for me to get a 
good lawyer, a lawyer. Uh, and this was even before we were married. I was just her boyfriend. Shit. And uh, he got me a lawyer. Amazing. And so I owe that man a lot. Beautiful man. Uh, Don Carlos, rest in peace. And uh, I know up there you're p- doing the same thing. I know you're holding down because he was a pimp. And uh, I love him. And we're all going to miss you. And uh, anyway, that's it. Hey. Rest in peace, Don Carlos. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk real quick about where I'm going to be Sunday. And and you know what? This is actually the reason why I got that fucking medical marijuana recommendation. Because a lot of these pot shops or whatever have, you know, parties and events. But you can't go. If you don't Unless have your, you have your recommendation. Right. Yep. Yeah. So I want to show some love and promote this event. I'm going to Sunday for Club Meds in Huntington Beach. Uh, they're having a grand opening party. You got Cool Ass Send Dog from Cypress Hill is going to be there from 12 to 4. Um, it's in it's Club Meds. It's at 17511 Griffin Lane, Unit 6, Huntington Beach, California. It's February 12th, this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I'll be there, um, you know, getting stoned out of my mind of course Mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. anyway come on down it's this sunday it's their grand opening it's club meds in huntington beach um and it should be a good time and we all know the hottest white girls in the world are Uh, playing the beach that's what i'm saying man oh my god there's a video (coughs) have you been to huntington beach by the pier during the summer yes yes and yes there's so many women me Pussy and weed. Me. Oh, pussy dude. and weed. So, so, yeah. They got yeah. the pussy and the beach is the hottest weed. white girls. Oh. It's the volleyball and they're thick. thing. And right. they're not skinny white girls. Yes. They're thick. They're like Roxy models and shit. Ooh. They're like, oh my God. It's insane, dude. They're them surfer bitches with their tan, but and you see legs. their blonde hair. Oh. Their little blonde hair. Uh, Ooh. Uh, I want to jerk off right there. Horror master. I want to jerk off right there. Mm. Are you allowed to say that? This is so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want we to just jerk can't off right jerk there. off or do anything, but we can say yeah. whatever we want. It's good, clean, right. fun. Yes, wow. it, is. it is. I love it's our good, clean, now, fun. Uh, now, another thing. This is the third, sh- third Wait, show. What, what day is that again? It's this Sunday. This Sunday. It's okay. this Sunday. Okay. You, you can take that with you. Okay. Uh, uh, real quick, this is the third show in a row, okay? Ooh, three for three. Right, but this is a bad thing. Where I have... Nobody from the world of cannabis or MMA. Are you fuckers afraid to be associated with porn? Is that what's yes. going on? Yes. I yes. need some fuckers. Yes. Dude, if you got the balls to go they into the skirt. cage and fight, you got to come on here. They are such big And fans. also, I need some, need I need some fucking sponsors. <laughs> I need some sponsors. I don't give a fuck who you are or what you sell. I'll go fucking strong on motherfuckers Thank for you, you now. Uh, so real quick, well, now that we'll, we'll start with Olivia. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you want to promote? What's the last thing you want to say? Uh, just uh, go to my cupcake page um, Instagram it's Dreamy Little Cupcakes Facebook Dreamy Little Cupcakes look at the site uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel Olivia Lovely Triple X help help a girl out during her retirement <laughs> okay Mr. Cock uh, yeah I want to promote Dreamy Little Cupcakes as well <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, cause that shit was tasty that was no movie. but you can uh, find me on Instagram <laughs> Twitter same thing at Chris Cock, C-O-C-K underscore. And then uh, if you follow those two, you'll see my daily adventures and see what's coming up next for the Chris Cock show and all the fucking crazy shit that I do where everybody hates Chris Triple X. Are we going to do a interracial something debaucherous? Oh, we're going to do a... Chris oh, shit. I want gonna, Rock and Stevie Nicks, but like we obviously uh, both are mm. oh, no, evil-minded. You, uh, all you got to know is that I'm going to thoroughly try to... Sop up all that wet juiciness. Debaucherize me. Okay, my whole thing is I'm Stevie <laughs> Licks. I'm a porn patriot letting freedom ring through my triple X endeavors. Just like motherfuckers get on the plane and go to wherever, we're making porn to let that freedom go to the further boundaries than anyone else will socially accept. So yeah. you can thank us all for that. <laughs> and then secondly, um, yeah, if you want to check me out, that is the pretty much only platform I'm not banned off of, Twitter. And it's Stevie Licks, triple X, L-I-X-X-X. Same thing. If you want to cyberstalk me from there, you'll get to my pay site, which is where I let you in on the completely uncensored POV interactive porn. 
mm. girlfriend experience and pretty much uh yeah gah, gah, let freedom <laughs> ring you know i think we nope. got to make more porn keep it subversive like you said what about the site where your music's on that cyber cyberbrothel.com yeah yeah they can cyber stalk me from there you know okay. i never like to toot my own horn but um you got well, that you google search engine and okay. it just gah, gah, bah, bah. okay oh, cool and use uh, oh by the way <laughs> yeah. by the way i just use I, me i think i tell you guys every I time will. i just got a smartphone i just got an instagram it's mofoware so follow me if you can that's my Instagram. You finally got Instagram, yeah. Mofo. <laughs> yeah. Mofo where? Wait, he said and finally got a smartphone. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like the only yeah. one I'm not no, banned off of is Twitter. Had a flip for yeah, the forever. Flip. No, a, pay, a prepaid phone, track oh. phone. Oh, fuck. Old school. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's you like if you, yeah. one thing that. I wanted to tell the audience is if you're fucking your whoever and you don't feel kind of guilty afterwards, you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> oh, shit. You should actually feel a little bit bad. Like, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Are you okay with like yeah. kind of what I just did to your body? <laughs> and then you know, then you're on the right track. So anyway, you post some. We're getting out of here. It's I'm gonna post tonight. Okay. A psychedella says adios, motherfuckers. Adios. And I and I want to end the show with what I always end with that's tattooed on my hands. Believe in yourself and kiss Sarah, Sarah. Mm. Like that. You're listening to Canapornia with your host, Mofo, only on LA Talk Radio.